हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माइंड मैप टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज गंगा रिवर सिस्टम सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक ओरिजिन ऑफ गंगा रिवर राइट बैंक ट्रिब्यूटरीज लेफ्ट बैंक ट्रिब्यूटरीज नेशनल गंगा रिवर बेसिन अथॉरिटी नेशनल मिशन फॉर क्लीन गंगा एंड इनलैंड वाटर वे पोटेंशियल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन द गंगा इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रिवर ऑफ इंडिया बोथ फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ इट्स बेसिन एंड कल्चरल सिग्निफिकेंस द गंगेज और गंगा रिवर रन्स थ्रू नॉर्दर्न इंडिया एंड इज सेक्रेट टू दोज हु फॉलो हिंदुइजम मोर देन फोर हंड्रेड मिलियन पीपल लिव इन इंडिया लिव इन द एरिया दैट फीड्स द रिवर नोन एज द गंगेज रिवर बेसिन a river basin is a region that is drained by a river such as the ganges and any of its tributaries this means that surface water and rain water in the basin area flow into the nearby rivers now moving on to origin of ganga river the ganga rises in the gangotri glacier near gomuk 3900 meter in the uttarkashi district of uttarakhand here it is known as the bhagirathi It cuts through the central and the lesser Himalayas in narrow gorges. At Dev Prayag, the Bhagirathi meets the Alaknanda. Hereafter, it is known as the Ganga. The Alaknanda has its source in the Satopanth Glacier above Badrinath. The Alaknanda consists of the Dholi and the Vishnu Ganga, which meet at Joshi Mat or Vishnu Prayag. Alaknanda meets Nandkini, Pindar, and Mandakini River at Nand Prayag, Karn Prayag, and Rudra Prayag, respectively. The Ganga enters the plains at Haridwar. The river has a length of 2,525 km, which is shared by Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, and West Bengal. Now let's discuss about right bank tributaries. The Yamuna is the longest tributary of the Ganga has its source in the Yamunotri glacier on the western slopes of Bandher Panch range it joins the Ganga at Prayag Allahabad now Prayagraj Yamuna is joined by the Chambal the Sindh the Betwa and the Kane on its right bank while the Hindan the Rind the Singar the Varuna etc on its left bank the Chambal river is famous for bad land topography called Chambal ravines The Chambal has the Kali Sindh, the Parbati, and the Banas as its tributaries. Another major right bank tributary of Ganga is the Son River. Left bank tributaries. The important left bank tributaries are the Ram Ganga, the Gomti, the Ghagra, the Gandak, the Kosi, and the Mahananda. The Ram Ganga is comparatively a small river rising in the Garhwal Hills near Gairsen enters into the plains of Uttar Pradesh near Najibabad. The Gomti River rises in the northern Uttar Pradesh about 51 kilometers east of Pilibhit. The Ghagra originates in the glaciers of Mapchachungo. The river Sarda joins it in the plain before it meets the Ganga at Chhapra. The Gandak comprises two streams namely Kali Gandak and Trishul Ganga. It rises in the Nepal Himalayas between the Dholagiri and Mount Everest and drains the central part of Nepal. It enters the Ganga plain in Champaran district of Bihar and joins the Ganga at Sonpur near Patna. The Kosi is the antecedent river with its source to the north of Mount Everest in Tibet where its main stream Arun rises. The Mahananda is another important tributary of the Ganga rising in the Darjeeling hills and joins the Ganga as its last left bank tributary in West Bengal. Now let's discuss about NGRBA that is National Ganga River Basin Authority. NGRBA has been established on February 20, 2009. Its objectives are ensuring effective abatement of pollution and conservation of the river Ganga by adopting a river basin approach and maintaining environmental flows in the river Ganga with the aim of ensuring water quality and environmentally sustainable development. The Ministry of Jal Shakti is the nodal ministry for the NGRBA. The authority is chaired by the Prime Minister and has as its members the concerned union ministers. The chief ministers of the states through which Ganga flows, Uttarakhand, UP, Bihar, Jharkhand and West Bengal among others are also its member. This initiative is expected to rejuvenate the collective efforts of the center and the states for cleaning the river. 
Now let's have a look at National Mission for Clean Ganga that is NMCG. NMCG was registered as a society on 12th August 2011 under the Society's Registration Act 1860. It acted as implementation arm of National Ganga River Basin Authority or NGRBA. NGRBA has since been dissolved with effect from the 7th October 2016 consequent to constitution of National Ganga Council. Objectives of NMCG are the mission incorporates rehabilitating and boosting the existing sewage treatment plants and to curb pollution at exit points on the river front. To maintain the continuity of the water flow without changing the natural season variations, to restore and maintain the surface flow and groundwater, to conserve and regenerate the aquatic biodiversity and to allow participation of the public in the process of protection, regeneration and management of the river. Inland Waterway Potential Inland waterways have been accorded a central role in maritime development in India. The National Waterways Act 2016 has declared 111 rivers or river stretches, creeks, estuaries in India as national waterways. NW1 is a waterway of truly national significance passing through four states, UP, Bihar, Jharkhand and West Bengal. The Ganga Bhagirathi Hooghly River system between Haldia Sagar and Allahabad, 1620 km was declared as National Waterway 1 in 1986. World Bank assisted on the development of Haldia Allahabad stretch of National Waterway 1. Inland waterways contribute to the local economy and provide employment to local communities. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, moving on to the prelims question that was asked in 2016 exam also. Which of the following are the key features of National Ganga River Basin Authority? 1. The river basin is the unit of planning and management. 2. It spearheads the river conservation efforts at the national level. 3. One of the chief ministers of the states through which the Ganga flows becomes the chairman of NGRBA on rotation basis. Select the correct answer using the code given below. 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 3 only or 1, 2 and 3. And now mains question. Discuss the Namami Ganga and National Mission for Clean Ganga programs and causes of mixed results from the previous schemes. What quantum leaps can help preserve the river Ganga better than incremental inputs? So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.